my Wiccan friends, my name is Wiccan Mohan and welcome to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to be talking about a hashtag that has been going on through almost a month um, throughout the witch community um, about say no to plastic witchcraft. And they, this hashtag was created by Freya, the Northern Atmosphere Witch. Um, she's from Norway and let me tell you, her videos are awesome and all that stuff. And um, many people out there are, you know, agree with the stuff that she say on the video, but the other part disagree with it. Yeah. And on this video, I'm gonna share like my two cents about this stuff, you know. Um, I know what she's trying to say about being a plastic witch and all that stuff, you know. She referred like to all these people to try to imitate the witch community, you know, just to earn a living and all that stuff. And this, you know, being a witch is not all about imitating other people. You know, being a witch is a style that you build up throughout the years, you know, and it's a practice that you build up throughout the years, you know, it's not easy being a witch, you know, being a witch, you need to be like more knowledgeable and these people try to imitate us, witches, so, um, she, I think that she referring to these people who are trying to imitate us. Um, witchcraft is not all about the stuff that you have, first of all. Witchcraft is all about the knowledge that you have inside here, you know? It's not all about the stuff that you have on your surrounding. You know, first of all, my altar reflects myself, you know, and how the way I practice my witchcraft. You know, if I, if you look at my altar, um, many of the stuff in my altar, I found all that stuff on nature. Yeah. So, um, the altar in my opinion, it's a big reflection of the practitioner of witchcraft. This is my opinion. You know, the altar reflects you, the practitioner. And um, yeah, and all the stuff that I have on my altar, I've been gathering all this stuff throughout the years from nature um, because um, the goddess, and God guide me to find all this stuff that I have on my altar. And you know, this stuff don't happen from one day to another. You know, it's been years and years for my altar to look the way it is looking right now. Your altar is gonna continue to grow from time to time. Yeah, and most of the stuff that especially me that I have on my altar um, I brought brought them from nature you know I don't have nothing on my altar that have not come from nature um, advice to those people who are trying to imitate us um, yeah these are the people that she's talking and expressing herself you know about being a plastic witch. Those people are imitating us because uh, for the simple fact that the witch community is growing and it's been popular since then, you know? And so they trying to earn a living out of it. And who are trying to imitate us witches, they don't fool me. The, they are making full of themselves yeah 
and um, you know, because uh, they create all these elaborate altars and all that stuff, they think that being a, a witch is to have an altar like elaborate, like they show on many of these Instagram um, pictures and many of these YouTube um, videos and all that stuff. You know, my altar, um, my altar reflects me which I am the practitioner of witchcraft, you know? Every altar out there should reflect the practitioner, you know? Every altar out there is different, and um, you know, they keep buying all this stuff from many other, other places, especially like um, buying all this stuff to put on the altar, the um this company like which out there mass produce all this all this stuff that is um you know it's plastic it's it's not good you know it looks beautiful and all that stuff but at the long run is like an empty seashell it don't have nothing inside you know your altar is a symbolic um place and it will reflect yourself and by having all that stuff on your altar does not make you more witchy than any other witch out there that is starting on the path you know throughout the long run your altar will grow and you will see that throughout the long run but having many stuff on your altar and putting all that stuff that you buy from mass produced um, places like the website which you know it's not good just to uh, the, the only stuff um it makes your altar look pretty yeah but it don't have nothing, you know, it don't have no power, no nothing, you know, because it's like an empty seashell, you know, and I'm not saying that the altar, the altar has power, no, the power comes from the universe and all that stuff, and all this energy, us as witches, we manipulate all this energy throughout the universe, the altar doesn't have no power at all. You know and for those people who are trying to imitate us and all that stuff you know the only stuff they doing is making a fool of themselves and this is the bottom part about it and this is the sad part about it you know and to all those newbie witches out there you know if you don't have the stuff that you see on on many witches famous witches youtube witches out there altars you know you see a lot of stuff on the altar this stuff happens through time to time your altar will grow throughout the years you know and you will see that on your on your years of working with witchcraft you will see that on the long run yeah so it don't matter if you don't have a elaborate altar as many witches out there that them pra they've been practicing witchcraft for so many years they have a nice beautiful elaborate altar yeah um having an, an elaborate altar like that does not make you a witch the only stuff that make makes you a witch is your knowledge and your knowledge and your connection between you and the goddess or God or your spirits that's all that counts that's all the knowledge that you need the, the one that you have inside your brain which um, you know throughout the years you keep reading and reading you know you need to read in order to learn and not only to that not only reading you need to um 
practice what you read. Yeah, you need to practice what you are reading. And this way, throughout the years, you will learn even more and more and you will become even more powerful than you are right now. Having an elaborate altar does not make you a witch. Having a nice knowledge, this make, makes you a witch. An awesome knowledge and not only that, you need to practice what you are reading. Knowledge, which you are going to be getting throughout the years of practice of meditation and learning this will make you a witch okay so here is my two cents about the hashtag that has been going on say no to plastic witchcraft you know many of people out there they you know they like to buy all this mass production stuff and the only the only stuff that they doing is killing the world you know and contaminating the world more than what it is right now just um yeah my opinion um freya her video i agree with her video and yeah just say no to plastic witchcraft okay this is all for today's topic thank you guys for watching blessed be and as always bye bye